Hey guys, how you doing? I'm at Wood Lake. Oh. Uh, well, Wood Lake, whatever the hell it's called. Place over here in Richfield. I want to go here in the summertime, but I figure it'd be a little more beautiful. Just snowed here. There's another place in Richfield. My next video, I'm going to show that straddles across town. This straddles Lindell Avenue. 35W. They bring a lot of um, students down here. Uh, Wood Lake, Wood Lake Nature Center. Right here, right in Richfield. There it is, right there. See, it goes all the way around. 35W. No pets allowed. No bikes. So I can't bring the dogs. It's too bad, but. I used to come down here all the time when I worked over in Bloomington over there. And there used to be a place you could, you can still go over here, but you could drive over here and I'd have my lunch. But uh, it's a really nice place. Very, very cool. It's right in the middle of Richfield and people don't know it's here. But uh, 35W is over there. You go all the way around. So it's just, Come down here in the summertime, it's nice, but I figured to come down here in the wintertime. This recently snowed. This will be up in uh, January. I hope you guys had a good uh, New Year's Eve and whatever else. But uh, it's just really cool down here. But it's just a lot of a lot of schools come down here for their nature walk, a lot of birds. You guys saw that other one when I was down here in uh by the um, Minnesota River. Saw the bird down there. There's all kinds of stuff down here. So it's a great place to come. It's kind of like that place behind my house. I've been before. So people don't have snow, you kind of get a chance to see it. There you go. It's a great nature center. A little windy, but the way it is, Mike's pretty good on here, so. It snowed on uh, Monday, and when some people go in the ditches and everything else. I took two hours off from work, comp time was slow. Did a porty pot rant, and I figured, oh, what the hell, let's go on down here, and I've been down here a long time. But it's, over here is an area you can go, you can go up there and uh, picnic up there, and there was a parking lot but they took it out. So you can still go there, but you can't pull up there, but. You can walk, you can walk out there too as well. Yeah, right in Richfield. I've talked to a few people off here before. When they fly in, they want to go someplace, so. Yeah, in the summertime, there's just a bunch of wildlife down here. In our backyard, we have our camera in the backyard. It was an eight-point buck in the backyard yesterday, twice, back-to-back. -back. So, I lost some gloves, it's too bad. Not cold enough yet for the ice, but it's getting there. Someone lost a glove there. Too bad. Two of them. They've, re, they've kind of reinvented um, Richfield. It's good. Well, there's probably some fish that I have no idea. But until all this. But it's just a great spot. 35W is over there. And then you got 44, and then you got Lindell Avenue. So if you were in town, well worth it. Come over here. It's nice. So this is what we have in Minnesota. This kind of stuff that you can. Um, walk around in and hang out and I've, I've been all year long I've been showing you guys place I can go with my camera and all these different parks and I can walk across the right side of Mississippi and Minnesota and go hang out so it's a very interesting place so there's just a lot of places that are around here because it's a very green state there's a lot of parks 
This, you know, it doesn't really get used a lot, but. Kind of see the water goes down in here. It's like 25 degrees today. It's not bad. I've had worse. I know they're supposed to get snow. Buffalo on this day today. 18th day of uh, November. And I know this weekend the uh, Buffalo Bimbos are going to play Cleveland Clowns in Detroit. And they stay in Detroit because they play more city kitties on Thanksgiving. We host the Vagina Giants. Minnesota Queens downtown. The Minnesota Mosquitoes play the new teapot here. So. Cowboys are in town this weekend. I'm not going. But, I don't know. I think it's interesting down here. I might go walk all the way around. I don't need to. Give you an idea. You have a, you have a bridge over there. It goes all the way around. And there's the... Um, you have chairs along here. Right, it's right over there. That, there's a lady, if you can kind of see her walking over here to your left, you can kind of see her. He or she, the white hat hat, uh, hat on. As they're walking up there, there's it's the little um, picnic places right over there. So, you can kind of see it. So, nice cold day for a walk. A memory of Claire Thomas Olson. Wood Lake Nature Center brought to her much joy. Damn right. Snow can be a beautiful thing, man. I love the change of seasons. I wouldn't live anywhere else. When I mean, you get some snow down in Texas, I, I, I did see a video I talked before how people are moving to Tennessee because they have changed the season, but it's not so bad. So, But we need a shitload of snow up there, Buffalo, three to four off the, uh, off the lake, but way it is. I saw some history in Buffalo one time about two years ago. It used to be a textile town and it's kind of made a comeback but working man's town. It seemed to be a new stadium someday. I deserve it. We got one here. I paid for it. People Stadium. You kind of see that place right over there. I don't know, I think it's cool. I just can't have any pets down here, but. So you can walk that way, all the way around. You can, you, like I said, it takes you a good hour to get around it. And they have, obviously, a place for garbage and stuff. You're gonna, smart, so there's not garbage around here. Uh, yeah, because there used to be a parking lot over here. We'll walk over to it. And they, they cut it off. You could you could drive down over here and park your vehicle, and I'd have my lunch in there on a nice day. It's very beautiful down in the summertime. So there's two of them. There's one here. There's one over there. So it's very cool. I mean, some people don't think these videos are any, any good, but you know what? Keep hearing about internet influencers. I influence you to go get a GoPro 10, get a microphone, and leave your house and go to something substantial. So you can kind of see where the road is up here, where it used to park. But I came down here at least once every two weeks and I'd have lunch down here. They made it into like a thing, but it's such a nice town. It just sucks is the airport. It flies over all the time, so. You'd come, you could come down here and park over here. It's all grown over now. This was a little camping area. We know picnic area right here, a long, long time ago. But they made it into something else. But it was just kind of cool to this, this big ass tree. But you could still, you know, walk around here. Big ass tree, a little lowly. Let's see, this one is. Irene Dahl, who loved this place so much. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go, in the next video you'll see go over the park over there by Richfield. It's um, the hockey rinks over there. 
the VFW is there. It's a little, they have a mini putt over there. You walk around, you go up against uh, Crosstown. But I figure what the hell. I do got to bust up my long underwear. It's getting a little cold. I do want to go up the um, light rail bridge across Elks Boulevard, but it's come, I mean, it's kind of done, but I have a feeling if I went up there, I'd get arrested for trespassing. There's some young lady up there jogging. So there's a lot of people up here that come around here and go hang out. So. I used to love to jog, but <laughs> that takes a lot of guts to be jogging in the wintertime. But, you know, the people just don't miss a day, man. They'll jog every single day. There was some guy one time, he broke his record. He, he, he uh, jogged every day for like 19 years. The only reason he couldn't jog, he was in like in New York somewhere. Out east, it was an ice storm. He couldn't jog. But he, every morning he would jog. Uh, I used to jog. I broke my knee. I can't actually tell how nice it is. So. <clears throat> so anyways, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this little adventure. And we'll, uh, See you in the next one, okay? So, Bruce Papa. So, there it is. All right, playing video games is not video games, okay? It's not content. See y'all later.